What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, you're going to decide what I eat for 24 hours. I'm going to be honest, whenever I order fast food for myself, I don't try anything new just because I'm scared that I'm going to order something and I'm not going to like it. The only time that I try new menu items is when I'm filming a video here for my channel. But just last night, I was in the mood to try new menu items, but I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to get. So I went over on Instagram and told you guys to send over your favorite fast food orders and you guys send so many so in today's video we're gonna give these fast food orders a try and we're gonna see what they're all about if you guys are excited for today's video make sure to drop a like a subscribe and without any further ado let's go ahead and let's get started all right ladies and gentlemen we are outside of dutch bros i feel like i always go to duncan lately but i needed to show dutch bros a little bit more love so we have two drink recommendations from a dutch bros the first one is the ice cookie butter latte which i believe that's like a new seasonal drink that they just came out with extra sweet with pumpkin soft top extra cookie butter around the cup and then the second one they said girl snickerdoodle cold brew with three soft top and cinnamon on top with a splash of cream so those are the two drinks that we're going to be trying in today's video we'll see what the vibes are we'll see how i like them currently in line right now there's a long line so i'm gonna be here for a while once i get the drinks we're gonna try them we have both of the drinks they look amazing let me give you a close-up of these strings this one surprisingly i think looks like a better color compared to this one but we're still going to give it a try and see what i think about it first let's try the cookie butter latte because personally i think this one's gonna be too sweet for my liking but let's go ahead and let's give it a try cheers oh ah, that is so good shut the fine door Oh, wow. I thought this was going to be too sweet, but this is actually so good. Like if you love your coffee to be sweet, you'll definitely like this. And even if you don't like your coffee to be too sweet, I feel like you're still going to like this. I was a little skeptical because of the extra sweet, but it is so delicious, guys. I can taste the cookie butter flavor. I can still taste the coffee. It's creamy. It's milky. The pumpkin soft top adds like that hint of fall. Like I am ready to go run my errands hit up home goods tj maxx marshalls and raws this is so delicious i'm gonna rate this drink a nine like a solid nine because it is that good let's try the cold brew with a soft top and cinnamon on top and a splash of cream this is cold brew so i think this might be a little bit stronger than the cookie butter latte oh wow this is good this tastes like what does this taste like Wait a minute, let me take another sip. It tastes like a very light arroz con leche cold brew, like rice pudding cold brew. That's what it tastes like. The cinnamon on top adds a really good flavor. The soft top, the, I can't even talk. The soft top makes it a little bit creamy. And then the cold brew obviously tastes like a cold brew. I don't know which one I like better. I feel like I like this one better compared to this one, but I still like this one. I'm gonna rate this one an eight. This will be first place, this will be second place. It's actually kind of growing on me. Let's bump it up to 8.5, but number one is this one. For breakfast, we're gonna have some Taco Bell. You guys gave me three different recommendations from Taco Bell, so I have three different items in here. Let's see which one we take out first. First, let's try this one right here. This is a double stag taco. Change the meat to steak and add sour cream. Ooh. Okay, I tried this. I wasn't a huge fan of it because it had too much refried bean, but with the sour cream and the steak, I might change my mind. So let's see. I'm gonna give you a close-up. Let's try it. Ooh. Can't taste the sour cream. Is there sour cream in here? Oh, very light sour cream, actually. Let me go in for a second bite. You know, I'm still not a huge fan of the refried beans. I also feel like the steak is a little too dry and I can't really taste the sour cream. They put like light sour cream. Maybe I should put extra sour cream, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm gonna rate this a five, but let's move on to the next Taco Bell item. Next, we have a chicken quesadilla with no jalapeno sauce. Replace it with chipotle sauce and add jalapeno slices. I think I might like this one. Let's get the centerpiece because I feel like personally the centerpiece is always the best one. Can you guys see? the jalapeno slices there. Mm, wait a minute. 
Mmm. Guys, this is so freaking good. It's spicy, which I love. The chipotle sauce, the chipotle sauce is creamy with a hint of spiciness. The chicken has a lot of flavor, and then the pickled jalapeno slices add more heat to it and a lot more flavor as well. Wow. Wow. This is actually so, so good. This is easily a 10. I just discovered a new way to eat my chicken quesadilla from now on. Last item from Taco Bell, it's a black bean crunch wrap, added chicken and jalapenos with this side of nacho cheese. Listen, nacho fries with nacho cheese is my weakness. I could literally drive to Taco Bell every single day and order that because it is so good. And I always get so sad whenever they take it away from the menu. How do I eat this? I usually don't eat crunch wrap, so maybe like this. Let's try it. Okay, why did that taste like a nacho? Huh? I got a piece of the jalapeno and it tasted like nachos with jalapenos. Let's put a little bit of the nacho cheese. Mmm. It's good, but it's not like super, super, super good. At least for me personally. Let's take another bite over here. Now I'm getting the chicken because I wasn't getting any of that chicken. Where is the chicken, first of all? Oh, here it is. <gasps> here it is, let me take another bite. We have all of the chicken here. Mmm. Okay, with the chicken, there's a whole different vibe. It's shredded chicken, so it adds a lot of flavor. The jalapeno's in there, you know, crunchy, a little spicy. There's beans, lettuce, tomato. With the nacho cheese, adds a little creaminess. It's kind of growing on me. Now that I actually tried the chicken, I'm like, okay, this is more like it. I'm starting to like it. I'm gonna rate this an eight. Time for lunch. For lunch, someone recommended the Royal Crispy Chicken add pickles, mustard, onion with a small fry and a small frozen pink lemonade. Okay, I'm not mad. This actually sounds like a really good order. First, I'm gonna try the pink lemonade just because it is frozen and I don't want it to melt. So let's give this a try. Mmm, this is actually really good. It's like sweet and tangy. Wow, I was not expecting that. I was expecting just like a sweet lemonade. But it's sweet and sour, which I love. I'm gonna rate it an eight. Now let's try this Royal Crispy Chicken. Oh, and then also, I forgot to tell you guys, but they also, in another slide, because it didn't fit in the text, they said to get the sweet and sour sauce to dip the fries in, so I got that as well. If I'm being honest, when it comes to fries, I usually just use spicy ketchup for my fries. I know a lot of people usually dip their fries like in ranch, barbecue sauce, buffalo sauce. I've never tried the sweet and sour sauce from Burger King, so let's give it a try. This smells so good wow mm. it reminds me of like orange chicken the fries are nice and salty and like soft and with the sauce it just pairs so well i like this you know i really admire people that are not afraid to just try random things when it comes to their meals because i can't just picture myself like hmm you know what for today i'm gonna just try my fries with buffalo sauce or barbecue sauce because i feel like if i were to do that and then i try it i'm so hungry that if i don't like it it's just gonna ruin my whole meal is anyone else like that or am i the only one i'm gonna rate that a solid seven let's try this chicken sandwich we added the pickles onion and also some mustard in there oh wait you can see the mustard on this side see you can see it a lot better there let's give this a try mm. it has bacon in here so the bacon gives so much flavor it's like so crunchy the mustard there's something about mustard in a burger or a sandwich i shall say but there's something about mustard in just a burger or a sandwich that it tastes so good and i really really love this also the chicken is so juicy and tender look at that this is so fire y'all mm. so good definitely stepped out of my comfort zone with the chicken sandwich the fries with the dipping sauce and the frozen lemonade because i would usually get me a dot of pepper a crispy dot of pepper you already know that final thoughts i'm going to rate the royal crispy chicken a 10 because it's not good it's delicious 
I decided to get a quick little snack before dinner because when I saw this, I was like, I cannot pass on this. I need to give it a try. Someone said to get a hot and spicy, remove the mayo and add Big Mac sauce. Why didn't I ever think of that? I don't know, but this is why I love you guys because I love me a good hot and spicy, but with the Big Mac sauce? This can go two ways. It can be amazing or it can be disgusting. So let's see, let's see which one it is. The guy in the speaker didn't seem surprised, so I think people might order this because he was just like, all right, we'll add the Big Mac sauce. I'm gonna give you a close up. Big Mac sauce right there. Cheers, let's give it a try. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm -mm. The hot and spicy belongs with the mayo. Okay, extra mayo in fact whenever I get a hot and spicy I ask for extra mayo like the mayo needs to be coming out from the bread because The mayo with the chicken like the spicy chicken patty just belongs together I feel like with the Big Mac sauce. It's kind of bland. I just felt like it was missing something like I wasn't too impressed I rate it a five because it's not bad, but it's not the best like I mean I'll finish it You know, it's not like oh my god I can't eat it, but it's also not the best for dinner. I went to Whataburger We're trying two different items for the first one It said try the Whataburger number 12, which is a chicken sandwich add jalapeno cream cheese Which I was kind of confused because I asked them there and also I looked on the app and looked everywhere and there's no jalapeno cream cheese But I did add the bacon the Monterey Jack and the avocado Sounds delicioso. Let's give it a try. Spicy chicken sandwich. Look at this. Do you see all that avocado? This looks insane. Look at this. Look at all that avocado. I don't even know where I should take the first bite. Let's take the first bite. The first bite, it was just avocado. So I need to go in for a better bite. I think that's definitely a better bite. We have some of that spicy chicken filet, avocado, bacon, and everything else. Okay, that's not bad. The first bite, it was too overwhelming. It was way too much avocado. The second bite was definitely a little bit better. That bacon does add a little crunch to it and also really good flavor. I feel like the avocado, I personally wouldn't add it because I feel like it just, it's not doing much. I feel like it's missing something that is like cool and refreshing. Like a tomato slice in here would be perfect, but that's just my opinion. I'm going to rate this a six. I think they just maybe added too much avocado. Let's try the other one. For the last one, they said to get a sweet and spicy, which is my favorite burger from a water burger, with creamy pepper sauce added to the burger and jalapeno ranch. No jalapeno ranch. You know, we're still going to give it a try. I would go inside of water burger, but I'm not anywhere near Whataburger as you guys can see I left so there's no way that I can get the jalapeno ranch to dip it in but I still really want to try it because um, like I said my favorite one is the sweet and spicy burger from Whataburger but they said to add creamy pepper sauce to it so let's see let's go ahead and let's try it mm, yep this is the one mm -hmm. this one is definitely better than the spicy chicken sandwich. The creamy pepper sauce obviously adds a lot more creaminess, but I can still taste that sweet and spicy sauce. I really wish they could have gave me the jalapeno ranch dip so I could have dipped it in there and get the full experience. But even without the jalapeno ranch, this is really good. I'm gonna rate this an eight. I am so full, I cannot eat anymore. That was our last meal of the day. I had so much fun filming today's video. If you guys wanna see a part two, make sure to like this video. Also, comment down below your favorite fast food order. It can be a custom order. That way, if I film a part two, I can take some of your guys' orders from the comment section. Also, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can keep on growing and hit that bell so you guys can get notified every single time that I post a new video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB.